Okay, this is going to be a tutorial video on how to uh, fix overstrum on a Guitar Hero guitar and also how to solve, for some people, not everyone this is going to work, uh, uh, frets that cut out. So, I'm going to film this. i got to get it all open real quick. I use wood screws on my guitar because those little torque heads piss me off and a wood screw will feed right into this cheap plastic that they use to make the guitars and if you strip out your torques from opening your guitar too many times this is your sure way to fix that issue. If it's not stripped out already though I wouldn't use a wood screw but I've opened my guitar so many times that all the screw holes are blown out. This isn't going to be in your guitar because that's my mess but uh, pretty much, let me get these wires off here this is a Guitar Hero 5 guitar from Band Hero. These uh, put electrical tape to hold down the wires. I'm going to tear it off to show everyone what's going on in here. I'm going to turn off my guitar because it's still on. That's probably a bad idea. Um, so what's going on here? Yeah, I'll pull this up so it's better lighting for a second. Originally, it connected here. It says... Oh, wait, hold this. Your lens is dirty as hell. Is it? Yeah. Right. Okay, it's blurry, blurry, blurry. What if it's just low quality and it says HD camera? Yeah, well. So yeah, right... Yeah, it's low quality. Right here, it says up, down, and ground. That's usually on this side of the guitar with the uh, main board. It's usually facing towards the main board, but I got mine flipped around for reasons I don't care to explain. Basically, you're up. If you follow the uh, little green line thing, like if you can see all these green lines, they're all separative. If you follow the green line that says up, it will go to this dot. So I have a red positive wire that was originally up. I cut the wires off of here, stripped them out, like uh, you see all these taped up spots. You strip them out by uh, burning the end of the wire, pulling the uh, casing off, or using wire strippers. I wouldn't recommend do using your teeth because you could damage the wire. Um, you can. Burning teeth. Right. <laughs> A lot of people like to use their teeth. Um, you follow the up, and where you cut the up wire off, you follow the line, and then you solder the up wire to the up spot, if that makes sense. The down, you do the same thing. The down's right here. Now they're positive. You solder it there. And the ground, if you follow the ground, it will go to two points. It will go to the first one, and they'll come out of the first one and go to the second one, which is over here. So then you'd have to, you know, split because there's only one wire for ground. You make a Y split, so, you know, you know what a Y, a capital Y shape like. You make a Y split out of the wire and then you connect it to the both points on you know the grounds which is where my black wires are currently so usually this board's completely flipped around and that's how it should be set up um if you get your up and down mixed up it's not a big deal the only thing that would affect is during an achievement like get a hundred percent on bass up strums only then you'd suddenly have to strum down which is kind of cool actually because then it's easier um, I don't have mine set up like that though. Um, and as to the uh, the uh, neck issue, you're going to simply take this chip out of the mix. Um, inside the neck, there is a four cord wire. You see how the, there's three wires on there. One of them's red. That red's really important because it will help you identify which side goes to which. So all you want to do is cut these wires off. They're really easy to split if you grab them with your fingers and just tear the wires down the middles where they're thinner. And it will you split the You basically peel the plastic apart in between the wires. Yeah, and then you just strip them whatever way you decide to strip the other wires. The easiest you, way is to take a lighter and then just burn the plastic off the wire. You run your wire up through here where the uh, piece originally sat. And then you do the same thing on here. You remove the piece in the end of the guitar and you run your wires into the neck. 
when it's, you get into the neck, you do the same thing to the wires in the neck, and then whatever side's red, red, and then corresponding in order. You want the, the red to match to red and the others to match to the others exactly. Yeah, so the farthest gray is the farthest gray also in the neck. Um, the only thing you need to be careful of is when you're putting in your guitar and there's all those wires, they'll start to bunch up as you're putting it in and you don't want to force it because you'll pinch your wires in between these two points here and then you'll get a short. So you want to be real careful if you hardwire your guitar and you don't want to take your faceplate off, you know, every other day because you're in the mood. You know, if you like your faceplate off, leave your faceplate off. If you like your faceplate on, leave it on. That's kind of it. But you can still take it on and off and if you need to maintenance your guitar, give yourself enough slack to be able to, once you take off the back of the guitar, just barely get it off the uh, guitar, okay? That way, you know, you don't have to cut your wires every time you want to get in and out of your guitar. The uh, other alternative for people with Gibson Les Paul guitars from Guitar Hero 3, this space right in here. Terrible lighting. This space right in here when you put in the neck, see how the guitar neck wiggles left to right? Right under the, uh, under this, where it sticks out, up against here, take something like, uh, this isn't a piece of cereal box, but we're gonna pretend. You take a piece of cereal box, and you wedge it down up against this wall, so it'd be a big, long, flat piece of cereal box, and then you'd shove your neck in so it doesn't wiggle as much. That wiggling will cause the connect connection points down in there not to break connection over and over again. So that's for people with a less paw. Basically, if your shit wiggles, it's gonna fuck up, so you don't want it to wiggle. But uh, I'll put my guitar back together now, and I guess that's my tutorial. I'll, as to soldering, you can try and use the uh, solder that's already on the board. You can get a propane soldering thing, which is kind of nice. Uh, you could heat up a screwdriver on your gas stove, and then just stab it. Until you're gonna want the melts. screwdriver to be like red hot. Yeah, and it's gonna cool off metal. real fast over and over again. And if you get solder, I'd recommend silver solder because it melts easier from experience. Lead solder sucks. So that's how you're gonna fix your, those both those issues on the guitar. This should be most Guitar Hero guitars. Um, if you just have mild corrosion on your uh, chipboard, usually corrosion's like a white flaky looking thing but it can vary um you can get flaky brown and a whole yeah. bunch of other varieties try taking a pencil eraser rubbing the uh, connections and see if that doesn't help you if you don't want to go through with this process that might fix your problem in itself but the corrosion will be likely to come back and these things wouldn't happen if people kept their guitars in a more dry area although i don't know how you keep your guitar in a moist area I don't know anyone that stores their guitar in a pool. So some some people live in high humidity. <laughs> yeah, areas. I know. I know. Um, the only other thing, I'll, I'll go over my guitar setup, I guess, real quick. Uh, I've resoldered this a million times. I got changed out up and down completely. I got a World Tour strum in there because my other strum broke. It snapped on the inside. Uh, I got one of my start buttons removed because when I strummed down with my elbow, I was always hitting the start button. So I took out one start button on the uh, this guitar. I got a World Tour Whammy. I have a World Tour Toggle, which is what this mess is from because this is not supposed to be wired to this at all. It took forever to figure all that out. Um, and I think that's it. But uh, it's pretty messy. But uh, even after your guitar's long dead, it still works, see? <laughs> 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 but uh, the only other thing I do is uh, I take out the yellow key or scrape off the bump on it because that yellow key pisses me off. And I play with wax. Don't do that. It will fuck up your guitar. But uh, that's my guitar and that's how to fix yours. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped.